Guys, today we're gonna do smash burgers that are healthy to eat. That's right, organic and sugar-free. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel, folks. We're glad that you can stop by and spend a little bit of time out of your day uh, watching us barbecue. So why healthy smash burgers? Well, why not? You know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, it was really hard to find really good organic sugar-free products to make a good healthy cheeseburger. Nowadays, it's actually a lot easier than you think. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients, where I got them, why I got them, so that you too can make a healthy smash burger. So before I hook you up, folks, how about hooking us up, hitting that little subscription button right down here in the right corner here, and that little bell, why don't you just turn that sucker on so you know when we're uploading more videos. All right, guys, so any good smash burger needs to start with some good ground beef. So why organic and why grass-fed? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. Cows are not meant to eat grain. A lot of farms will finish them off on grain or raise them their entire life on grain, and you're just not gonna get the quality of meat that you guys deserve when you're using grass-fed, guys. Cows are naturally supposed to be eating grass. It's natural. They're roaming around, they're outside, they're having fun, you know, doing cow things. And there's a lot of nutrients they're just not gonna have when they are grain fed or grain finished. Now we all know the second most important ingredient of a good smash burger is of course the cheese. I had to break down and mortgage the house and go to Whole Foods for the cheese. Uh, it's an organic American style cheese, guys. There's zero sugars and zero bad things in here. Especially there's no vegetable oils or anything like that that's gonna really upset your stomach, make you feel bad that night after you're done eating. And then in keeping with the theme of going broke, I found some Jim and Jake's plain, uh, I think there's called ciabatta style hamburger buns. They're in the frozen section, but they have no added sugars either. Uh, they actually got some protein and some fiber in there, which is gonna offset any of those carbohydrates. Now the carbs are complex carbs, guys, from some whole grains and they didn't use any crazy oils to make it. Then we got ourselves some grown in the USA cutting tomatoes here, organic. There's naturally occurring sugar in tomatoes, guys, but it's minimal for diabetics, if you are a diabetic, uh, because it's not a starchy uh, vegetable. And then we got some California grown sweet onions, again, organic. These came by way of Trader Joe's. I want to say we're maybe almost completely organic because we got some avocados from Mexico. Not sure if they're organic down there, but uh, we got an avocado tree here, but uh, right now it's not the time of year for getting any avocados. So what kind of seasoning are we going to use? Well, you guys know me. I like simple salt and pepper, but did you know that white, coarse, kosher salt is actually bleached with chemicals to get that stark white color? Now, a lot of you may not care. Usually I don't. But if you can find a natural sea salt based rub like this one from Grillaholics, this is just plain old SPG guys, and it has no added sugar. In fact, look at the ingredients on here. There's not a whole lot of ingredients and that's what you want. And what would a good burger be without some uh, mayo and ketchup? Well, we got this avocado oil based mayo here, garlic aioli, uh, again, completely organic, healthy for you no sugar, and then we got some unsweetened ketchup, less than a gram of sugar, guys. Again, tomatoes have naturally occurring tiny bits of sugar in there, but it's minimal. It doesn't really pose a threat to people that have sugar sensitivities. And of course, Sassy loves these romaine hearts here. We got these at Trader Joe's, and we're gonna make sure that we got the crunch with these. So you didn't think we we're gonna do this all in the kitchen, did you? So out of hibernation, I pulled out my Camp Chef two burner Explorer camping stove. That's my old faithful guys. I could bag it up, comes with a case. And I could take it anywhere. We take it camping, tailgating, and this thing keeps on ticking guys. All right guys, before we go any further, I wanna just remind you guys that we're approaching 4,000 subscribers and we're having a 4,000 subscriber celebration when we get there and we're gonna give away a whole bunch of stuff. Guys, Uncle Steve's Shake, the Meat Stick, Super Clean, and of course, Grillaholics, guys. Why would I be wearing this hat if it wasn't to give something to you? 
So we recently partnered up as a brand ambassador for Grillaholics. And to celebrate that, we're gonna give you a 20% discount, guys. Just follow this link right here, copy paste it in your browser, or down in the description, I'll leave a link. Guys, go check it out. You know Christmas time's coming up. Don't be that flaky, dude. Plus, I have links to the other three, Uncle Steve's Shake, The Meat Stick, and Super Clean, guys. Four fantastic barbecue vendors. Go show them some love and tell them Green Horton sent you. So the rules for the contest are going to be in the description, guys. Go on down, read all about it, because we got to move on and start cooking these smash burgers. So I already told you that I'm going to do them on the Camp Chef, but what I didn't tell you is how I'm going to prepare them. So about five or six ounces of beef, because we're not going to do a double stack. You want to ball them up. Now, the key here is don't have it so tightly balled up and crushed and, and mixed up that it's not going to have a lot of nooks and crannies in the meat because that's what you want. More surface area for more of that sizzle and that crispy goodness because that's what you want. That's where the flavor is. Don't season them up at this point. And the key for any good grill master, guys, is make sure that all your veggies are chopped up, all your seasonings and condiments are ready to go. All right, let's get smashing. Now I uh, put these hamburger buns into the oven and I warmed them up Then I kind of grilled them there as you saw. Now I'm going to put a little bit of ketchup on this side. Guys, it's always good to get a little bit of flavor, get a nice some of this Hearts of Romaine on there, guys. I really like that crunch and a little bit more. Then I'm going to put one of these organic tomatoes. Make a nice little bed. There we go, guys. A few of these onions. A little bit of avocado from our neighbors down south. And I think we'll be all done with this uh, organic, sugar-free smash burger, guys. Here we go. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm actually going to cut this in half. There we go. Give you guys a little look inside. Now a little trick that I didn't do that I'll show you next time. Throw a couple ice cubes under that cover when you put it on there. That'll help it melt more evenly. Okay, let's dig in. Mm. <laughs> I'm not making this up, you know. This tastes good. This is really good, guys. That meat is just so perfect. You saw how I got nice and crisp. That's what you want, guys. Well done, crispy. Mm. The avocado, the onions, that crunch with the romaine hearts, it's all good, guys. And of course, just a little touch of SPG from Grillaholics, awesome. All right, guys, there you go. A delicious and healthy to eat smash burger. Now, I'm not just kidding about the healthy to eat part. When you go organic, sugar free, it's actually replacing some bad stuff for some good stuff now. Guys, I'm not a health nut, honestly getting older and me and sassy we're looking to improve what we're eating on okay some of these things you can substitute you can go to aldi and bonds and piggly wiggly if you live over in the south okay there are choices nowadays so experiment see what works for you tell me all about it guys be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time